Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Full Retard. I've got a mixture of things for you today. Let's start off with some missed connections from Craigslist. Customer service booth guy at HEB. You are the white guy at the reception desk. Your name starts with an A. You have really nice forearms. Is that what does it for people now? Forearms? I mean, I've heard of some weird stuff, but that that's different. Is this going to be the next big thing at the strip club? A bunch of guys hooping and hollering? Hey, yeah, show us the forearms, baby! This next one is lost contact with you. We hooked up once at your job parking lot and I've been dying to have at it again. Or honestly, with anyone in the Pearland area. But if you work as a church technician, hit me up. Or hit me up if you're in Pearland looking to get sucked. This last part sounds like something you'd read on the bathroom stall. Looking to get sucked? Call 555-555. Or of course for the ladies, you know that one creepy guy that snuck into the ladies' bathroom and written on the stall in there because he thinks he's being slick and write something like, For a good time, call Daryl. He's hung. And the last misconnection for today is titled, Baytown H-E-B Dad Shopping Alone. I was shopping at H-E-B and noticed you in the meat department. You were a thick, stocky man. Not pretty, but masculine in your late 40s or 50s. We made eye contact when you noticed I was checking out the sausage in your basket and you smiled. I hope you see this. I'm hungry. Now, of course, on to everyone's favorite, choosing beggars. This is from a for sale post. Is the car still available? Is the car still available? Yes. Could I have it for 500 bucks? The asking price is 20000 There's no way I'm leaving it for that low. I'm killing myself if I don't have it for 500 Okay, then. Good day to you. Wonder if this would work at the... I wonder if this would work at the dealership. I know that new truck is $70,000, but I'd really like to have it for 1000 Oh, we can't do that. I'll kill myself if you don't sell it to me for that. Oh, sure. Let's go do the paperwork. Yeah. If only it worked that way, right? The person posting this next one offered free boots and threw in a free pair of jeans and work clothes. But that wasn't quite good enough. So let's start with the author who says, Okay, sure. When do you want to come by? I can come by Monday next week if that works for you. Sure. Just remind me. I don't really feel that is my role here. If you set an appointment, I believe you should honor that by writing it down. And if you can't remember, I don't feel it is fair to make me travel far to pick up something of yours. I don't mean to offend. I just feel like this is the case. I'd rather you come to me in case you forget. I won't be reminding you, as I am not a personal assistant. Seriously, what the fuck? So you're going to lose your shit and give up free stuff because you might have to remind the person, hey... I'm coming by today. What a retard. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short episode. Remember to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us, and click the bell icon on YouTube. Demand that all your relatives listen to my podcast at the dinner table tonight. And of course, if you can afford to support the show, click the PayPal link in the description. And if you don't like the show, I've got some Vaseline and a wine bottle, and you know what to do with it, don't you?